shows that you connected. I look for the minute. Go ahead and start. You're on. Hello, 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 Kansas City and the world. You are tuned in to Kansas City's global community radio station, KUAW, which stands for Knowledge, Understanding, and Wisdom. This is Jessica Lynn, and you're tuned in to Jessica Lynn Speaks Life, and I am so excited today to have these beautiful powerhouses at the table of purpose, passion, and power. We're going to be talking about the Societas Doctor Incorporated. We're going to be talking about their journeys. We're going to be talking about good, good stuff. I want to say, first off, happy Women's History Month. Yes, that's right. Woo-woo! Yeah. Yes, baby! We are here! Yes. You know, today at church, one of the uh, beautiful young ladies, uh, she gave a liturgical dance to the song, Thank You for My Life. Mm. Oh, mm. my goodness. Yeah. By Smokey Norfolk. Yeah. If you have not listened to it, mm-hmm. pull it up. Smokey Norfolk, Thank You for My Life. It's it's an older song. Mm-hmm. It's been out a few years. But I absolutely, it, I mean, it just, it set the tone for my day. Mm-hmm. Thank you for my life. I've been through it all. Mm-hmm. Some things may not have turned out right. like right. I thought they should yeah, have. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or like I hoped that they would have. But I'm still yet here. Mm-hmm. Thank yeah, you for, for my, my life. life. Yes. So thank you for my life. Listen, if you are out there tuned in and you are struggling, you are depressed, you're going through something, you say they don't know, they got it all together. No, ma'am, there is a journey, and we're going to be talking about journeys, right? And so I am excited to introduce to you, wow, Dr. Tamara Callahan. Mm -hmm. That's right. And we have Dr. Mary McConnell. And we're just going to jump right in. These ladies are powerful powerful women that are members of Societas Docta Incorporated. And this are, what, why am I saying it? I'm going to just <laughs> let y'all say it, right? Let me just let y'all say it. So Dr. Mary, we'll start with you. Just tell us a little bit about who you are, and then we'll jump over to you, Dr. Tamara. Okay. And is it okay if I call you that Dr. Tamara, Dr. Mary? Okay, okay good, yes. good, good. Okay, cool. All right. So Dr. Mary, tell me your name. Your, 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 your title. What do you do in addition to Societas Doctor? Okay, first of all, Jessica, thank you. <laughs> I want to thank you for giving us this opportunity you are to welcome. be on your show. It is an honor. Thank you. Uh, again, my name is Mary McConnell, and I am an educator. Educator. And I'm an educator. Uh, I'm a consultant, educator consultant, and I work with uh, school districts in Missouri. Uh, my title, I guess you would say, would be Improvement Consultant, uh, but I enjoy what I do because I'm working with teachers and really the, basically the outcome to improve the educational outcome mm-hmm. for all students. I love it. I love it. Well, if you don't know by now, you know that I'm an education advocate, so you got me jumping over here. Yeah. All right, Dr. Tamara, tell us well, a little bit about I, you. you. Know, I echo Dr. Mary's sentiments of you just having us on uh, today. Mm-hmm. It is such a pleasure. You know, when we were extended the invitation, I immediately went to some of your YouTubes, and I said, this woman is masterful <laughs> oh, at no. what she does. Oh, and so no. may we start by just giving you <laughs> some kudos on doing well, such you. a fabulous job. Thank and you. And the range of folks that you take time to get to know. It speaks a lot about you and the work that you do. Yes. Thank you so, so your much. Passion, your passion, too. Yes, right. yes. Well, right. the show used to be called uh, my, my Beautiful Homage to My Beautiful Dear Sister Michelle Gines. The show, when we first started seven years ago this year, was Purpose, Passion, and Power with Jessica Lynn and Michelle Latrice. Okay. And then she had to go on and do some other things, and so it became just me, and it was Purpose, Passion, Purpose, Passion and Power with Jessica Lynn. Okay. And in 2021, I launched my speaking career, and so I changed it to just... Jessica Lynn Speaks Life. Mm -hmm. But we are at the table of Purpose, Passion, and Power. All right? Where it all started. So we are at the table of Purpose, Passion, and Power. And I just happen to believe that all of us have a purpose. Yeah. I do. I do. I I believe that. And I've had many people say, well, I don't know what my purpose is. And, And I would say, you know, your purpose is directly connected to what you're passionate about. Mm -hmm. And if you put those two together, it equals power. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
And I would just add to that, with to that power, that there's an arrangement of divine connections mm. that happen that help to usher you into that power. Yes. And I always like to tell the story whenever I'm in the same room with Dr. Mary of how we were divinely connected long Ooh, before tell we us even about knew. It who we were. And so like Dr. Mary, in my work, I'm a consultant. I work primarily with um, school leaders in the KC region. And um, but years ago, uh, Dr. Mary and I were attending a National Baptist Convention. Mm -hmm. I didn't know her. She didn't know me. She had written a book that was used in the curriculum uh, mm -hmm. for the uh, published by through the Sunday School Publishing Board. And I was standing in line waiting to get my book signed by Dr. Mary. And wow. that was probably, I want to say that was 2014, maybe even earlier than that. I, I could not remember the date, but I remember the encounter because the way that she is so gracious and kind now, she was in that long line of people. Wow. And so when I got up to her, I, uh, you know, extended my book and she asked me my name and she gave me, you know, uh, wrote something in there. And uh, and I still have that book. I showed wow. it to her not too long ago. Where were we when I showed you that book? Remember, and I, you were yes. you were going to be the guest speaker, I think, for a Women's Day program at our church. Okay. And I reminded you of that uh, encounter. Well, years, you know, fast forward. 2018, uh, my father passed, which brought my husband and I back to the Kansas City area. I had uh, left Kansas City, born and raised here, but I had left Kansas City in uh, 1987 and did not return. That's a great year until now. 20. That's, that's, that's a great yeah. year. Pause on that <laughs> okay. year. 87. Woo, woo. Okay, okay. That, that's my East High graduation year, right? honey. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, the yellow gets me yeah. going. We used to say 87 all the way to heaven. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, I was all the way to Florida. That's wow. Well, that was me. a beautiful place to go. Yeah, beautiful place. But anyway, uh, long story short, 2019, I'm looking for employment mm -hmm. and uh, newly relocated. And so I have this interview at the RPDC. And it was going to be some consultant work. And that was right up the alley what I wanted to do. And I walk in for the interview, and the interview chair is Dr. Merritt. And Wowzers. so there's about eight of us, about eight people that were in that interview, I think. And so you know how you have the little tent cards mm -hmm. placed mm -hmm. in the names, and I'm going around. Hi, hi, how are you? Yeah, mm -hmm. hi, hi, how are you? And I'm seeing <laughs> the names, and I'm like... Dr. Mary, Mary McConnell, and it stuck, you know, and I had to come back to it and say, I know you, so I'm in the interview, and I'm just fanning <laughs> out in my interview because of I remembered that encounter, and, and I just count that such a joy. I mm. think that was just such a beautiful way that the Lord, you know, connected us Yes, yes. Uh, in, in that season and has continued to connect us. Uh, she has uh, invited me into SDI. And wow. I'm now a member because of her gracious invitation and the wow. acceptance of the membership. So just wanted to share that. Wow. But yeah. That is just amazing. I love the way, like you said, God put this divine connection. Mm -hmm. And wow. Right. And things happen for a purpose and things happen for a reason. Absolutely. And I don't think it was accidental. I think no. it was all in God's will. Pieces of the puzzle mm -hmm. is what I call it. He puts the right pieces at the pieces right time. At the right mm -hmm. time. The right so did people. you get the job? I did get the job. <laughs> of course she got the job. We want to know did. how the story ended. I did get the job. You know, it's on the, yeah. and the director or someone says, you know, why should we hire you for this job? I said, because I'm fabulous. You know? Oh, I love it. But then I clarified. I love you it. You know, that the work that I've done leading up to this time, I think has prepared me well. Uh, mm -hmm. for the job but I just think that that whole thing the way that I had the whisper to even check the site and that the day that I applied was the closing day for the application mm. I mean just everything wow. fell into place everything fell into place and I know that that was divine intervention mm -hmm. that's beautiful and just us being back in Kansas City uh, Second Baptist Church woo -woo, woo -woo. Is, uh, <laughs> is my home church mm -hmm. I was born and raised in that church mm -hmm. and uh, when I left Kansas City in 1987 I never would have imagined that my wow. husband and I would have returned as pastor and first lady of that church. Wow. So many of the elders there were my first teachers, my Bible study teachers, my Sunday school teachers, my choir directors, and they're now in their 80s and 90s. Wow. But I'm able to, you know, uh, interact with them and, 
and, and help um, help the next generations kind of grow in that same that very same space that I grew up in. We just never know yeah, never where know. our journey may lead us. Absolutely. Wow. Yeah. That that now that's amazing. Mm-hmm. This little bitty girl that they saw born into the church is now the first lady. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Take the limits off. <laughs> just completely take the limits off. And so many of them, me included, would have thought that. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I always had a love for the church and a love for the people there. But, you know, and so as we were talking about my little granddaughter and how we were wrestling with her in church today, your, your gentle reminder, let that baby do what she wants to do. Mm-hmm. We never know. Mm-hmm who God is That's shaping right. them to be, That's you know. Right. That's so um, right. So that was a beautiful uh, reminder. But yeah. Wow. What amazing story. story. Mm-hmm. Amazing journey. Amazing journey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, Dr. Mary. Yes, wow. We, <laughs> we had a little time to chat, and, and a part of your story just keeps resonating with me with you when you were working on your doctorate as a single mother? Oh, I'm not a single mother. I'm married. You were married. <laughs> yes, I'm married. But your husband happily traveled, married. Yes. happily married. <laughs> Correction. Yes. Stand by your man. <laughs> and how many years? Throw it out there. Right. Tell, years? Us, years tell, years us, tell us, tell us, tell us, tell us. That's 50. right. <laughs> Woo! I'm halfway, a little bit, a little bit over half. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. what I meant to say, correction, was you were working on your doctorate and your your husband traveled and worked a lot or what yes. have you and you had four babies four, four children four children four children yes wow mm-hmm. talk to us a little bit about that journey it was a journey <laughs> and uh, it wasn't easy and as i look back now i'm glad that i did continue on uh, with that journey uh having four children and uh schooling and their activities and then also when you're working on an advanced degree, when you work on your doctor, it is very, very demanding, mm-hmm. very, very uh, time consuming. Mm-hmm. Uh, the bar is really high as far as expectations mm-hmm. and, and work. And uh, there were many, many times that, oh, I was just saying, can I continue to do this? Uh-huh. Or should I be doing this? But uh, through the grace of God, you know, I was able to go ahead and continue. And I know that I would not have made it and uh, have been uh, as successful in the program without uh, God's help uh, throughout the entire uh, process. Because there were times, there were many times when I was just kind of at that edge where it was just so overwhelming Mm -hmm. that, you know, I was thinking, well, maybe I should do this later. Mm -hmm. Or maybe, why am I doing this? Mm -hmm. And that those uh, thoughts, they, they do come to you Absolutely. when you feel closed in or mm-hmm. when you feel the pressure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The deadlines. On, the yeah. deadlines and the work. The writing. Because yeah. it, it, it's a lot of work. Yeah. It's, it's very uh, intensive uh, work. But uh, I'm glad that I continued with that journey. Uh, it takes a lot of prayer, mm-hmm. perseverance, organization. Mm-hmm you know, commitment, Mm -hmm. and then also support. Mm -hmm. And that's what I like about our organization, Societa Docta. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Tamara would talk about the mentees. Mm -hmm. That we uh, encourage Mm -hmm. and that we support other ladies that are on this journey. And uh, when I was on the journey, I really didn't have the support Mm -hmm. that we are offering. I wish I did have Mm -hmm. the support, but the support wasn't there. Uh, So we do like to really really extend ourselves and encourage because sometimes just that encouragement mm-hmm. you know to keep going uh, you can make it mm-hmm. uh, you can do it Absolutely. and then telling your story and then your struggle mm-hmm. uh, as you go through or as you uh, went through in getting your uh, doctorate degree yeah but I'm glad and I'm thankful that I did keep on the journey mm-hmm. and yes and not stop because mm-hmm. there will be difficulties you know obstacles and it may not just be working on uh, an advanced degree. It could be other things in your life right. that uh, you will have um, some difficulty. But just, you know, hold on, hold on. you know, persevere. Right. Don't give up, you know, mm-hmm. just just keep going, just keep, keep going. going. I love yeah. it. Yeah. Perseverance, I think, is the word. You know, whenever we're talking about seeking advanced degrees, because it really is a marathon. Mm. Um, there are some things that you can do you know, in, in courses because, uh, you know, 
most people will have experienced some level of success when they're taking a college course. I think the thing that makes uh, the doctorate so uh, much challenging is that it intentionally is different from any of the other schooling that you've had up until that point, regarding, regardless of the discipline. Mm -hmm. There's a, uh, an additional level of rigor that you must mm -hmm. you know, consider and trying to balance that. I remember having a breakdown one time in the driveway because I was like, Lord, do I, do I have ingredients to make a meatloaf? Because I'm walking to this house and these boys are going to be hungry. And, you know, like, and I'm so tired and I have a deadline tonight and please, Lord, just let me have all the ingredients for the meatloaf. Mm -hmm. You know, and without fail, you go in and somehow you find a way, you make a way and mm -hmm. you're able to pull it together. But we've been talking about purpose and I know purpose purpose and passion for myself really is in mentoring. Mm -hmm. And when I stepped into this organization, I didn't know really where I was going to fit. You know, everybody kind of finds a niche, but it just so happened that our Dr. Jennifer was elected as the superintendent yes. of Kansas City Public Schools. Mm -hmm. And so that was a position she was serving me in. And mm -hmm. understandably, she is super incredibly busy yes. now. Yes. And so I was able to just kind of step in and support her. Um, you know, there and just absolutely love it. And I find when I am reflective over my life, mentoring is really a passion of mine. And I was mentored uh, during my doctorate program, would have not have made it mm -hmm. without two Latina sisters mm. who from day one, we signed a pack. We are going to finish in three years. We're going to support each other. There is no quitting. There is no failure. It's okay to call me at midnight. And then I had uh, my dissertation chair was a woman of color from Persia. Mm -hmm. And uh, we all just rallied around wow. each other. And I know without a shadow of a doubt, Mm -hmm. Without that support, I would not have been able to reach those goals. Wow. So it's so important um, because most who start entering that doctor work, well, many, many should I say, are in that, that juggling act mm -hmm. of balancing family and mm -hmm. career and mm -hmm. uh, community and right. church, you know, everything mm -hmm. else. And how do you get that done? Mm -hmm. And so just having that voice. I remember sending my work to right at the end and you know dissertation was done study was done and i could not get that table of contents to line up <laughs> and the be, way it was supposed oh, to line the up the margin wasn't right yeah. oh my god you know they give you these guidelines mm -hmm. and so i called her and i said i've just quit it I, I just i just can't do it she said what do you mean you can't do it you have finished the study you were at the end i said the table of contents i can't get it to the little up, baby you know? <laughs> Oh, she said, Tamara, calm down. <laughs> Send it to me. You know what uh, I mean? Uh, so uh, she, was, she just pushed a button or did something, it. and it was done. Mm -hmm. But had she not stepped in and helped me in that moment, mm -hmm. that's, you know, so many people step away because mm -hmm. they feel overwhelmed mm -hmm. just in a moment, and they really don't have the clarity of how to finish. Mm -hmm. And so mentoring, stepping mm -hmm. in, being mm -hmm. able to offer someone a helping hand, mm -hmm. say, I'll bring you the meatloaf, you know, I'll take the kids for an hour, things like that really do help. Right, right. And, and many times uh, uh, women may complete the coursework mm -hmm. and get that portion completed and then stop and uh -huh. not actually go on to uh, the dissertation piece. So we really want, you know, to encourage uh, women, you know, to go on, you know, go all the way yeah. to finish with that dissertation, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And you know, the, during that process, uh, I guess you can maybe say that it's kind of like a rite of passage, or you have to kind of, you know, jump over some hoops. You do. <laughs> you really do. Because, you absolutely do. Uh, you may present uh, your your research, uh, mm -hmm. you know, your material. And uh, your professor may indicate, well, have you thought about this? Yeah. Or why don't you go back and do a little more research in this area so you can kind of compare this uh, with this. Mm -hmm. And you've already exhausted mm -hmm. you know, every yourself. Area. Yes. But it's perfecting you. Mm -hmm. It's perfecting you. It's it's getting you to, you know, look at all different angles and all right. different aspects and mm -hmm. getting you to dig a little bit deep, deeper. Mm -hmm. uh, it just enhances your overall uh, intellectual growth and development. Yeah. And mindset as well. Yes. Amazing. I agree with that. I agree with that. Amazing. Yeah. Well, I, I didn't, I wasn't obedient. Okay. As, you were as not a, obedient. I wasn't obedient. I, 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 I stopped at my master's and my okay. mother said, you should keep going. I said, that thesis, do you know that thesis? <laughs> the dissertation is five times the thesis. I was yeah. like, I'm done. Well, if so, you ever decide that you want to. Well, you to, guys here. You're we're here. here for you. Yeah. <laughs> 
I wish you were yeah. there when I, when I was yeah. 24, 25 years old. Absolutely. Uh, you probably were. I just didn't know about you. And, um, and so, yes. Yeah, so if you are considering getting your doctorate degree, Am I pronouncing it right? I say societas doctor. Societas doctor. Societas doctor. Mm -hmm. Incorporated. SDI. Mm -hmm. It's here to support you. They are mm -hmm. here to support you. These are phenomenal women. I know some of them personally, and they have mentored me. Hey, shout out to Dr. Marge. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. Thank you so much for um, just, just being the women that you are and uplifting other women in the community. So they not only support women that are getting their doctorate degree, mm -hmm. you all uplift women in the community that are doing work in the community, and there's a big event coming up. Let's talk a little bit about that. Okay. Uh, the Nefertiti. Yes, the, the Nefertiti. Nefertiti uh, luncheon. And I'm going to yield to Dr. Mary because she is the seasoned SDI <laughs> member. I was inducted in April of 2022. So this will be my first live Nefertiti. I am so excited, but I've had the task of getting the mentees together mm -hmm. and making sure their pictures have been submitted Beautiful. and that they're continuing their education and we're going to award some scholarships. So that's how I'll be participating, but I'll let Dr. Mary share some of the highlights. and. Okay, uh, the Nefertiti event is really one of the signature events of Societas Docta. Mm -hmm. And this is something that we do biannually mm -hmm. and uh, it's exciting and we are just really excited about it we always have it to align with women's history month mm -hmm. so this year we're giving women an opportunity to share their Story. stories and we have some amazing and some outstanding and wonderful women that we will be highlighting uh, actually 12 women that we will be highlighting from the greater Kansas City area in various, various fields, uh, uh, civic, uh, business, education, mm -hmm. higher education. Health, medical, health, uh, administration. Administration, yeah. religion. Mm -hmm. So we will be highlighting these women and the great contributions that they are making in the community and also in their various fields as well. And uh, the Nefertiti Luncheon will be held on Sunday, mm -hmm. March the 19th at 2 o'clock at mm -hmm. the Overland Park Marriott. Marriott. That's right. Mm -hmm. And I will mm -hmm. be there. Yay. Oh, wonderful. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Dr. D'Angelo Burns Wallace, thank you. <laughs> She's another friend of mine. Mm -hmm. So I will be there, and I'm excited. I've been before there uh, to support um, my beautiful friend and sister, uh, Senator Barbara Ann Washington. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. And so mm -hmm. now I will be uh, there to support the ladies this year. Mine was virtual, and it was still good. The yeah. pandemic didn't stop y'all. No. Y'all still put on a bad <laughs> show. Yeah. It was awesome. Yeah. It was awesome. Yeah. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. And so what I'm getting from here, from you all speaking, is just never give up. Never give up. And when you were saying you called your friend and said, I'm just going to quit, you know, it... The little bitty things is what makes us want to quit. Mm -hmm. You had done all of this work. All of that work. But don't that let the straw break your back. <laughs> yeah. Don't let the straw break your back. Right. And if you feel that the straw is breaking your back, we all must have a circle of friends. Mm -hmm. And so that's what you all are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're kind of like, I will help you not jump off the edge. That's right. You had to be you yeah. know talked off the edge like sure. you're just making a mountain yeah. out of this little molehill Se you've already times. walked up the mountain <laughs> Se several times you know and just little tips of advice on how to approach coursework mm -hmm. and how to um, go about collecting your references and how about you know storing for your literature review they're just different tricks of the trade when you're mm -hmm. pursuing a doctorate mm -hmm. that you need to know that first year mm -hmm. so that it keeps you from becoming overwhelmed what I did not share when I was kind of talking a little bit about my journey is that I work, uh, or maybe I did, I work primarily with principals, assistant principals in this area. Mm -hmm. And uh, being able to mentor them through my work, but then also um, individually, you know, as I'm led and connected to certain leaders who want a little more one on one um, mentoring. It's invaluable. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you, you can't even imagine the number of decisions that our school leaders have to make on a daily mm -hmm. basis. And in this climate and, you know, post-pandemic, it's, mm -hmm. it's it is not, not easy. It is not easy. It, it, it's challenging. Yeah. Very challenging. 
And so I would say Dr. Mary and I both see that in our work, you mm -hmm. know, uh, mm -hmm. with, with the teachers, with the administrators, mm -hmm. they really are overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. And so being able to mentor them to just say, this too shall pass, yes. or have you thought about doing it this way, or, um, you know, reminding them of that work-life balance, mm -hmm. those, those things they really do. Mm -hmm. They really do go a long way, and it's very important that you have those kinds of encouragements mm -hmm. as you're going through your, your day. That's beautiful. And, That's and during beautiful. our busyness, mm -hmm. and we're all busy, mm -hmm. that we still have to take time for self. Right. We have to take time for self. You, you just, mm -hmm. what a great segue <laughs> yeah. to ask you all the question about self-care. Now, mm -hmm. that's a big buzzword. Mm -hmm. A lot of people flow it around, or throw it around, but I, I have to be intentional yes. as a servant, mm -hmm. and you are servants. And so how do you intentionally take care of yourselves? Yeah. You have to plan. Mm -hmm. You have to mm -hmm. plan to make it happen because mm -hmm. it's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you have to plan to exercise. Mm -hmm. You have to plan uh, to walk. Mm -hmm. uh, just as we have our planners and, mm -hmm. and we put down what we're going to do for the day or mm -hmm. you know, for the week, I think that we just have to just intentionally plan. I'm going to set aside 30 minutes a day for walking or exercising. And then it's something that we have to just make as a lifestyle. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. to kind of think about what we eat. Yes. Uh, drinking that water. Mm -hmm. And then also our attitude also right. has a lot mm -hmm. you know, to do with uh, our self-care yeah. and our health mm -hmm. as well. So even though the physical part is really, really important, mm -hmm. it's also, you know, what's on the inside. Mm -hmm. That's well. right. That's exactly. That's important because stress you yeah, know, stress can kill you. Mm -hmm. You know, if you have things built up, mm -hmm. you know, over time, that's that's not healthy. You can yes. eat right and exercise, but if you are harboring, you know, mm -hmm. things, then mm -hmm. that can really be detrimental as well. Mm -hmm. This is so yeah. true. Absolutely, you know, and I think to just also give yourself grace mm -hmm. because some days you have great intentions mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. uh, like that, that you're going to eat well you're going to drink I your know. water and then at midnight you're having to stare down with a snicker bar Ooh. and you're like okay and now sometimes, I really yeah, sometimes you just have to just, sometimes you, you just, just indulge right 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 you know we're not perfect right 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 we're right, human. right 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 yeah. right but yeah. the intention absolutely is to try to eat right yeah. mm -hmm. and exercise mm -hmm. and uh, drink water and do those things, mm -hmm. that lifestyle, mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. so that we can be healthy to yeah. mentor mm -hmm. and help others. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Exactly. For me, I, I am really big on taking a moment. Mm -hmm. And so I tell people all the time, and I may have said it on the show before, but I am booked six months at a time for my spa. So I book twice a year. I book in January and I book in June. Mm -hmm. So in January I book for six months and in June I book for six months. Okay. Because if I don't put it on the calendar, mm -hmm. it's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. There will always be something to take that space. Mm -hmm. And also with filling my cup. Mm -hmm. So we are constantly, you're constantly giving out. You're constantly mentoring. You're constantly mm -hmm. pouring into other people in ministry and yeah. at work and in all of the things that you do. And so for me, I have to rise early every morning and fill my cup with the word and devotion and song yes. and, and all of those things. Because if I don't have a filled cup, I just can't run on empty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and yeah. that's how we end up having nervous breakdowns mm -hmm. and depression and and life is a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> life, is, life is a lot. Life is a lot. Mm -hmm. And so another tip that I do, and I love to share this one, is when I am at a red light. Red means stop. So when I'm driving and I'm at a red light, I do some deep breathing exercises. Mm -hmm. And the proper way to breathe is with your mouth closed mm -hmm. and then slowly with your mouth slightly open and feel that oxygen go through your body mm -hmm. it is amazing mm -hmm. just at the red light and then i also do seven praise pauses a day okay seven praise pauses a day so what are you what are you grateful for i, I opened up with thank you for my life mm -hmm. everything may not be going this way right. you know the way that you want oh today was a horrible day mm -hmm. i'm sorry but i don't agree yeah because every day 
Mm-hmm. You can find some positives. You can find some positives. Right. You something may have happened that day that mm-hmm. wasn't great or wasn't good. Granted, that's life. But if I would just, I would just implore everyone tuned in to change your perspective. Yes. Change your perspective to some some horrible things happen today. Yeah. You know, some horrible things are happening every day all over the world. Mm-hmm. But it's still a great day that God has made because we yet have another opportunity mm-hmm. to count it all joy that we still have breath in our body. And I think that perspective helps me mm-hmm. with saying, oh, it's over. This is just, this is just, I'm quitting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm tired. Yeah. You know? yeah. I'm tired. <laughs> I don't have, I don't have, I'm calling my husband, honey, can you bring home some <laughs> eggs? I'm just, I, I'm like, I don't have any groceries in the house. And, and he's going to be like, what? <laughs> Yeah, and I'm like, like I, I, my stuff is not, my slip is hanging. Yeah. Help me, you yes. know. So sometimes we get to those, we get to those, those moments. But if we just mm-hmm. stop, and my husband's answer is real simple: we can just go get something to eat. Right. I mean, why are you right. tripping? Right. Well, and I think that you're making a beautiful point in mm-hmm. that we often don't ask for help. Right. You ask for the eggs, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And I ask for the, you know, Lord, please let these ingredients with this meat love be. Because the world is not, like, there's people in there that can help you. That's right. There are people <laughs> who are willing to help you. Right? Yeah. So sometimes I think we waddle in our overwhelmness, mm-hmm. not realizing there's a solution, there's an answer, there's someone willing to help you. Here you is. just have to look around and be willing to ask for help. And it's not a sign of weakness. Right. Mm-hmm. to say that you need help. And I think Absolutely. for for me being a, a overachiever and I, I I assume are you an overachiever? You're an achiever for sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Clearly. Right, right, it's right. you're shaking your head yes. Right, right. So I don't want to just throw you in the basket yeah. with me, <laughs> but uh that personality trait mm-hmm. we have to get it done. Mhm. Right. Our first option is us. Mm-hmm. Like we don't even go by plan B. Yeah. We think about plan B when we're melting yeah. down. <laughs> Uh-huh. But we want it done right. Done right. And nobody can do it like that. Yeah. And nobody can. It, <laughs> and we want to do it well. It's like yes. seriously, get over we yourself. Make a <laughs> we want to make a difference. Right. right. But there's do. people that will make a difference with us if yes. they give us a chance. And I've been mm-hmm. told over and over, you need to delegate. You need to delegate. Mm-hmm. You need to. And so, I'm embracing delegation. I'm embracing delegation for so for those type A personalities, uh, overachievers like. Dr. Mary and Dr. Well, Tamara. I'm not quite type A, but but uh, but I do you have know, that like, tendency. I do to... have a, a, a con- control spirit sometimes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> you know because you just you know when you can weave it in, when you can get it done, and sometimes that's easier than delegating and having right. to wait that's on someone correct. else's schedule. So it's really more mm-hmm. that you know the time that you have to dedicate to mm-hmm. it. Uh, mm-hmm. But when you delegate it, you really need to take your hands off. Mm-hmm. And allow that person to, to work. work it however he or mm-hmm. she needs to do it. And sometimes that does not gel with your vision right. of when that's supposed to happen. It takes um, practice. Some, some, it does. Some growing to it does. Point. It does. Yeah, because you want to kind of have the final, you know, look, the final yes. approval, the mm-hmm. final, you know, just mm-hmm. to make sure that everything is mm-hmm. on the up and up. Right. It, it's, it's correct. And it's right. It's done well. You know? mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that is a. I, I, sometimes I feel like for me, it could be a character flaw because it's like you gotta just let it flow sometimes, mm-hmm. you know. And I have to practice my let it flow, don't trip, yeah. let it flow. It's mm-hmm. it's really not brain surgery. It's okay. Mm-hmm. Nobody's gonna nobody's gonna die from this, yes. you know. <laughs> just bring it down a notch. So I have to talk to myself, yeah. and so I think we have to talk to ourselves more mm-hmm. and give ourselves grace. We do. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's right. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. it's okay. Talk to me about a, a, a time in your lives where you already kind of shared one where, you know, the, the table of contents, you couldn't get that, mm-hmm. get that going. But maybe about someone that you're trying to mentor or help and you're having to take them through this process yeah. about your mentoring skills and how do you deal with that mm-hmm. uh, without... I don't know how you have to stay in a different parameter of not sharing certain things about yourself mm-hmm. in the workplace, mm-hmm. but how mm-hmm. do you deal with, you know, helping, helping a woman truly, truly, truly keep going? I mean, mm-hmm. she's got all these things thrown at her yeah. family and finances and just yeah. all these things. And she's trying to get this, this doctorate degree. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and so sometimes you have to really 
get right. get raw and, and transparent? How do you deal with that? Well, you know, first of all, you have to really kind of, uh, I, I would say, connect with the person mm. uh, and have that relationship, mm -hmm. you know, with the person. And to the point that you can both, you know, communicate and collaborate and share mm -hmm. and be honest. Mm -hmm. And as you develop that relationship and they know that you really support them That's and that right. you really, really care mm -hmm. about them, and if there's something that you need to share with them, that they would be more receptive, I believe, there to receive right. you know, what you are uh, sharing mm -hmm. uh, with them. Mm -hmm. But uh, again, uh, having that relationship is just mm -hmm. so, so uh, much, so important. Yeah. And then building uh, that trust, you know, with that individual, mm -hmm. and then letting them know that that you care, mm -hmm. right? And that, uh, and then you know, telling your story. That's right. Mm -hmm. Being transparent. Right. That's just Being what I was going to say. Mm -hmm. You know, I've Sharing. been there. Yep. Mm -hmm. I've experienced that. Mm -hmm. You can make it. Yes. Absolutely. And uh, share some, maybe some mistakes or some things that I should have done differently mm -hmm. that maybe perhaps I didn't know, mm -hmm. you know, at that particular time. Mm -hmm. And then share it, you know, with uh, the next generation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love it. I just agree with what you're saying. That relationship piece is so important. A young woman uh, joined us for church service today that I have the opportunity of mentoring in my work. Mm -hmm. And um, the the message was just so timely for her, mm. where she is in her professional journey. And, uh, you know, my husband was reminding us of, of Paul and being shipwrecked and stay with the ship, you know, oh, and trust yeah. the process. Mm -hmm. And it was just what she needed to hear. And so wow. because we're in relationship with each other, after the service, I was able to look at her and say, don't get off the ship. Mm -hmm. Wow. You know, trust the process. Mm -hmm. And she was like received, mm -hmm. you know. Wow. And so that's that relationship that Dr. Mm -hmm. Mary is talking mm -hmm. about. Mm -hmm. That connection has to go beyond the doctorate work. Right. The work mm -hmm. is the work, mm -hmm. but it really is, um, why are you doing all of this? Mm -hmm. How is this growing you? Who are you going to be able to benefit and bless because you accomplished this? Mm -hmm. This degree really has nothing to do with you, right. but it's how it's going to be used right. to, mm -hmm. help somebody to help else. somebody else. Mm -hmm. And so when you can help, you know, uh, as you're going through that journey, help to remind them that it has a greater purpose mm, yes. than what you even see in the academic mm -hmm. piece of it. Love then it. it becomes clear and you're able to persevere, mm -hmm. you know, and mm -hmm. you want to reach that goal because you now realize others are dependent on me to get this degree. Mm -hmm. It's not just about me. Right. And that, that's, wow. that's our mission. That's part mm -hmm. of our mission. Mm -hmm. Societal Danta. Yeah. We help each other. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And we support each other. Mm -hmm. And we have that mindset that we want others to do well and succeed. Mm -hmm. And that we want to help our mentees Absolutely. <laughs> be successful and well. We want to give back. Mm -hmm. And many of the ladies in our Societal Docta, they are doing just that. Uh, they have made an indelible print mm. uh, in our community and in the lives of others uh, due to the investment mm -hmm. that we are pouring back into others and into the community as well. Yeah. And I as one it. of the newer members of SDI, I have found just that encouragement and that connection and being able to be part of an organization that has such a beautiful stamp in the community. Mm -hmm. I have just really been enriched by mm -hmm. that. You know, iron sharpens iron. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so when you're around others who really have that mission and that commitment to see others grow, it's just a beautiful thing. So I have been uh, embraced. I'm excited about the work that we'll be able to do with the mentees uh, because the heart of the organization is really to uplift uh, women, period, mm -hmm. but then to support them specifically to accomplish their doctorate degrees. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. And I must give a shout out to our president. Yes. Dr. Jessie O. Kirks. Yes. She is an amazing, amazing woman. Yes, she is. She is an amazing woman. Yes, and, she is. Uh, she keeps us motivated. Yeah. She keeps us uplifted. Mm -hmm. She keeps us encouraged. And we she really, really does. appreciate it. And we love Dr. Dr. Percy. She is a great woman. Yes. Great amazing. Woman. I love Absolutely. it. I love, I've met her and, and have been in her space. She's an amazing she inspiration. It's so much inspiration, inspiration that I feel at this yeah. table just uh, sitting with y'all. I'm yeah, serious. Right. It is. Y'all don't know. I feel so good sitting next to them. <laughs> and that's what it's about. Mm -hmm. That's what it's about. Your energy inspiring and lifting up other people and i always say that your yes to god is directly connected 
to someone else's purpose. Absolutely. So Amen. thank you for your yes. I believe that. Yes. Thank you for your yes. Thank you for not giving up. Mm -hmm. Thank you for didn't matter if you didn't have all the ingredients to the meatloaf. To the meatloaf. <laughs> just, just my, my mother survived. She used something else. Yes, you know, that's right. switch it out. You know. Yeah. But um, thank you for your yes. And if you're tuned in, you're tuned in to KUAW Kansas City's Global Community Radio Show with Jessica Lynn Speaks Life. My beautiful guest, Dr. Tamara Callahan and Dr. Mary McConnell. They are powerful women of Societa Docta Incorporated. And they uplift women and inspire women that are getting their doctorate degree and help support them go all the way through. Go all the way through to the finish line. That's right. All the way, because we can't stop. Right. Mm -hmm. And so the, the, the luncheon is coming up on March the 19th from 2 to 4 at the Marriott. Can they still get tickets or is it sold out? I believe the uh, cutoff date is March what? the 10th. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you have to March the 10th. I'm going to be there. So I hope to greet you there. Yeah. Um, yeah. March the 10th. You have to March the 10th to get your tickets. And is there a um, website they can go to to get that? Eventbrite. Um, could we, uh, could they reach out to you maybe? Yes. Yeah. I was going to say, they can reach out to me. You can reach out to me. You can reach out to me on um Facebook, Jessica McCallop McClellan, just reach out to me or the KUAW radio show, and we will get you the information to get your tickets. Absolutely. But the event is March the 19th from 2 to 4 at the Marriott, mm -hmm. and Overland it's going to be amazing. Uh -huh. Overland Park, we're going to Overland Park, Kansas. Mm -hmm. We're going to be, look, we, I didn't put myself in. Yes. <laughs> we're going to be uplifting and inspiring women uh, yes. that have done great things in the community, and we're going to hear their stories. And the theme this year for Women's History Month is celebrating their stories. Yes, right. So telling we're going to be story. celebrating, telling, telling your story. stories, telling, our story. telling your mm -hmm. story. So yes. we're they're going to be telling their stories, and it's going to be inspiring and uplifting. And if you are thinking about getting your doctorate degree, you must get in touch with, get in touch with me, and I'll put you in touch with them. All right, yes. uh, so that they can support you through the process. It is a process. Mm -hmm. yes. It's it's, it's a, a serious process. it's a mm -hmm. serious process. It's a commitment. Mm -hmm. It's a commitment. It's a commitment definitely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm, I'm excited just to be sitting here with you all. There's so much that women have gone through mm -hmm. for us to even get here to the place where we're celebrating our pigmentation. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're celebrating our melanin. Mm -hmm. We're celebrating and we're talking about diversity and inclusion. And to me, I, I, I think that it's important not to just talk about diversity and inclusion, but to be about diversity and inclusion. Mm -hmm. So in your workplace, in your experience, talk to me a little bit about your experience with mm -hmm. being included. Yeah. Well, and I'll just say this about SDI. One of the things that I feel is so beautiful about it is that we refer to each other as a doctor. Mm -hmm. Dr. Tamara, Dr. Mary, Dr. Marsh, Dr. Jesse. And that's because even after we have acquired those degrees in most spaces, we still are not recognized oh, wow. with that profession through that professional lens. And so uh, it, 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 it can be discouraging, depending on what field you're in, mm -hmm. to have done all of that work mm -hmm. and still not be um, accepted as, you know, a professional peer. Mm. But that does not matter. Mm -hmm. You know, what we want, the message that we want to convey is that it is worth it. Mm -hmm. And just you holding that space gives someone else permission and confidence mm -hmm. to be able to hold that space as, as well. Wow, yeah. well said. Yeah. And I think one of the reasons why um, women of color mm -hmm. have uh, succeeded and excelled and done remarkable in different areas and different fields is because you know we know or we knew <laughs> that we had to really yeah. We had to overwork. overwork. Mm -hmm. We had to really prove ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, we really had to do uh, excellent mm -hmm. in whatever our endeavor mm -hmm. uh, might have been or might be. So we're hard workers. Yes. yes. And we give it our best. Mm -hmm. And we work hard at it. Mm -hmm. And uh, like Dr. Tamara mentioned, you know, many times may not be uh, accepted or recognized because of, of who we are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we have to know 
who we are. That's so right. We have to feel good about ourselves yeah. and know who we are. That's good. And, uh, and just hold the, the bar up. Mm. And uh, when we walk in that room, hold our head up. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and we are somebody. That's mm-hmm. right. Mm-hmm. We are somebody. Even yeah. if you don't think you have right. it all together, right. Just, right. Just, just go just, ahead just on. Go ahead. That's right. <laughs> That's yeah. right. Just uh, do your thing. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And, and yeah. do it well. Yes. And do it well. Yes. Yeah. I agree. Because you agree. just never know who you are inspiring. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. You know, you never know who you are, who's watching you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And what little one, what young woman, mm-hmm. what young man mm-hmm. right. is is getting from your diligence and from right. you working your purpose. Mm-hmm. Work your purpose with mm-hmm. passion. Yeah. And if you put the two together, it's inevitable. Yeah. It will be powerful. Absolutely. Well. And, then not, and don't let a day go by without um, having some uh, positive impact mm-hmm. yes. on someone. Mm. And it may be encouraging that person mm-hmm. or, uh, you know, or a hug. A or, smile. A smile. Or, or it's so easy. Or, you know, so writing them a note mm-hmm. or, yes. or just something yes. that we are li- leaving some sort of a positive imprint mm-hmm. in the life of someone. Every day, every mm-hmm. day. It's not about us. Right. It's not about us. Mm-hmm. You know, who can we encourage? Mm-hmm. Who can we support? Who mm-hmm. can we help? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Who can we perhaps be an example to on this journey? Yeah. I think that is so, so important. It is so important. important. And I think that that's just a measure of what purpose is. Mm-hmm. Because if you believe your purpose is just about you, then I would probably argue that's not your purpose. Mm-hmm. Because we see purpose as our ability to really be able to bless others, mm-hmm. to help others. Mm-hmm. And as serve. we do, that's mm-hmm. right. We are to serve. Mm-hmm. That's yes. right. That's right. That's so, right. We, we are, our yeah. calling to fulfill. Yes. Yes. Bring yes. a word. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Bring a word. I love it. I love yes. it. I yes. love it. We all have yeah. a purpose to yeah. minister. That's right. Mm-hmm. Now, whether we answer that or not. That is true. You know. That is true. And, and you know, the thing about it is our natural talents, gifts, and abilities prepare us to do that. Oh, yes. You know, we just have to go about being who we are naturally, and you mm. just run right into your purpose. Oh, if you, you really just don't. Important too. Yeah. Be who you are. That's, That's right. Good. Don't mm-hmm. try to be somebody else. Mm-hmm. I love it. Be who you are. That's right. And, and when you say don't try to be somebody else, what I feel is the biggest fallacy of, of the generation today is comparing themselves, especially women. We compare ourselves all the time. Sometimes subconsciously we, we compare ourselves, and then we have to realize that's what's happening. Mm-hmm. But for the young people, this here, yeah. this is killing dreams. Mm-hmm. It's causing depression yes. because they're looking on and they're looking – they live on this thing. They mm-hmm. live on this thing. This thing is, they, they, they compare themselves to others. Well, they have this, they have that. They compare themselves. And so that is something that I want to hear from. What can we do? Yeah. What can we do for these young people? Mm-hmm. And not even some young people. Some people are in their 50s. Is, this, is, yeah. this is killing their dreams. Right. Because they don't have this or they don't have that. Don't you know all of this here? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is this is not this is not real. Right. It's not reality. <laughs> right. It's true. You, it's you not know, reality. Yeah. Th- yeah. This it's 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 I, I I saw the craziest reality of a, a lady on here and said she had been following this lady. Now this lady's on social media and she's telling a story mm-hmm. that she had been following someone that she just admired, right? She admired her and she had an opportunity to meet her and she wanted her to speak at her women's event. Mm-hmm. And she had seen this woman with, you know, the houses and and the cars and the clothing and everything, designer. And she's just like, oh, this woman, she would just be so powerful and such an influence, right? Well, she got in touch with the woman. The woman told her, honey, I am broke. (laughs) Yeah. All of that. I just put that on there. She, 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 Mm -hmm. She said that is all just for Facebook and Mm -hmm. for social media. And I'm like, wow, to even say that, Mm -hmm. like, this person was like, she was telling the story. She was like, I just couldn't believe it. I just couldn't believe it. So don't believe everything that you see. That is true. That's true. I think it goes back to the relationship piece that Dr. Mary was talking Mm -hmm. about earlier. We cannot influence all of the YouTubers or Mm -hmm. TikTokers or Mm -hmm. whatever, but we can influence those that we have close relationship with. Mm 
Mm -hmm. And we ha can't be afraid to tell them that's not real. That's mm -hmm. not real. We can't, cannot, you know, um, be afraid to uh, challenge them to invest in something that isn't real. Mm -hmm. That is real, and then show them the way, you know. Mm -hmm. Because when we when we start speaking that, and we're suggesting a change, there's an investment on our part mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. we have to kind of help them. Yeah, how do I get there? Way. That's right. So that's right. So that's what's yeah. going to make the difference. Show me how to get there. Invest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that we yeah. invest some time and energy mm -hmm. into helping them see things differently. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah. it's just like you said, you have to know who you are. You said it earlier. Mm -hmm. yes. You have to know who you mm -hmm. are and learning your strengths and knowing what your strengths are, mm -hmm. knowing what your weaknesses are. I took an assessment early this morning uh, about my leadership skills. It was like 177 questions, and then it, it puts you in these different uh, frames, right. mm -hmm. you know, personality mm -hmm. and leadership mm -hmm. and, and all of these things. And it was pretty it, it was pretty on for the most part. Okay. For the most part, it was it was pretty much on. I didn't agree with some of the things, but they weren't bad. I thought they were actually pumped me up more than what I thought of myself. Yeah. You see what uh -huh. I'm saying? So sometimes we're doing a greater work than we than we even really know. Uh -huh. You know, mm -hmm. and so uh, I would just encourage anyone to to do the work, mm -hmm. do the work, do the self care work, the self discovery work, mm -hmm. know who you are, so that you can be on the right path and journey that you need to that you were created for right and so many people like i said earlier i don't know my purpose i don't know my purpose it's directly connected to whatever your passion is mm -hmm. so if you're if you're just tuning in your purpose means something and your purpose is directly connected to your passion which also is not for you like dr Tamara said is for somebody else mm -hmm. you know had you not went through what you went through to get your doctorate, yeah. you wouldn't be helping that young lady in the way you're helping Absolutely. that visited your church today. That's right. Right? Not in the same way at all. Not in the same way. That's right. That's so right. we are impacting mm -hmm. lives when we go through the journey. Mm -hmm. It's not always going to be smooth mm -hmm. for children and getting a doctorate degree. Mm -hmm. Wow. I, I still, I'm still stuck there. Mm -hmm. But... <laughs> You know, yeah. just you, 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 you had to have the person, you had to have something inside of you that I'm going to finish right. this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to finish mm -hmm. this. My kids mm -hmm. are going to go on their field trips. I'm mm -hmm. going to be at the field trips. I mean, you, you was the doctor, you was the nurse, you was the mm -hmm. teacher mm -hmm. and all of this. And that's, mm -hmm. that's another question I had that, that left my mind, but now it's back. Teaching. Mm -hmm. Did both of you start out teaching in the classroom? Yes. Yes. Talk to us a little uh -huh. bit about that. Yeah. You want to go? Yes, mm -hmm. um, started out uh, as a teacher, mm -hmm. uh, secondary, mm -hmm. uh, middle school, and then also taught uh, high school. Okay. And a lot of lessons learned, mm -hmm. a lot of lessons learned about uh, students, the way they learn, how they interact, uh, behavior, mm -hmm. I mean, just all different types of uh, experiences that you learn that help you to grow and develop, you know, as an educator. Mm -hmm. So, uh Wonderful, wonderful experience. Mm -hmm. So, question, paramount question. When you started out teaching, did you see yourself where you are now? Oh, definitely not. No. <laughs> no, when you first started out, oh it's survival. Goodness, oh, right. yeah. It's survival mode. It, it, it is survival. Yeah. I mean, you're learning. Mm -hmm. Right. It, it, it's a learning process for yeah. you. You're, right. you're actually learning those first, I would say those first few years. Oh, yeah. But, you know, first as three. the you know, years progress, mm -hmm. you perfect your skill, just mm -hmm. like with anything, because you learn mm -hmm. uh, through uh, professional development. Mm -hmm. You learn a lot, you know, from your students. Mm -hmm. Uh, you perfect your uh, area of expertise and content, right. your teaching practices, mm -hmm. you uh, begin to develop and build that repertoire of different strategies, mm -hmm. uh, things to do uh, mm -hmm. with students, what works, what doesn't work. Mm -hmm. uh, you begin to look at the data, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> you know, to see where uh, students are and then move with that, uh, making those instructional decisions, you know, for the students. But back to your point, uh, when you start out, uh, that is the starting point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And five years down the road, 10 years, 15, yeah. 20 years, you mm -hmm. should get better. Right. Mm -hmm. you, you should, should get, get better. better. You should stay mm -hmm. at the same mm -hmm. level. 
Mm -hmm. as you start it. Mm -hmm. You should progress and mm -hmm. grow and learn. If mm -hmm. not, something is wrong. Something, wrong. Is, right. something is wrong. Right. And so what you said was, do would you have seen yourself where you are now mm -hmm. when you started back then? Mm -hmm. I started as a speech language therapist. My uh, bachelor's degree was in communication disorders. So I worked as, as a speech language therapist for several years mm -hmm. before I recertified and went into the classroom. So my professional career was built primarily on the special education side of the mm -hmm. house mm -hmm. um, and really became proficient in differentiating instruction and mm -hmm. things like that. Uh, worked as an assistant principal and then I moved into the position of director of student support or special mm -hmm. education. Mm -hmm. And in each step along the way, I was tagged for the next position. Wow. It was nothing that I was looking for. See, that's another thing that we have to know mm -hmm. about um, our journey. We may not, and you made me think of that when you said that that assessment revealed there were some things about mm -hmm. yourself that mm -hmm. you really have mm -hmm. not even uh, thought about, uh, thought or about, noticed, you know, yeah. or noticed. Mm -hmm. um, and so each part of those, when when I, you know, I was thinking about recertifying, it was somebody that tagged me and said, "You'd be an excellent teacher for this." Wow. When I was ready to move into administration, it was somebody that tagged me and said, "You're pretty good with managing discipline. Have you ever thought about doing this?" Wow. When I, you know, for each period around one, and even when I started to think about uh, pursuing doctoral work, it was somebody that tagged me and said, you know, you really should think about uh, getting this terminal degree. I can see you working as a professor. I can see you influencing, mm -hmm. you know, uh, other people. And I was able to do that. So you've just been so. empowered your whole journey. Yeah, my whole journey, somebody else planted that seed for me. You know, wow. and so it, as we're working, you know, I, I think we all have a, a, a destiny. Mm -hmm. It's all predestined, mm -hmm. but we don't always see it. And mm -hmm. so we're thankful for those who are along the way mm -hmm. to help lead us to, mm -hmm. you know, our destiny. Mm -hmm. Wow. every step of the way. Yeah. Wow, and every step of the way. We this journey on our own. That's right. Yes. Not by ourselves. No. There was always somebody. Somebody, mm -hmm. some that influence, a nudge or, or that something. encouragement. Yeah. That's right. That's right. the door. Yeah. And mm -hmm. all, so. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. And then I say that that's always part, that's always confirmation. Mm -hmm. Because I can remember for each of those steps, applying for grad school maybe. I'm thinking, oh, I won't get in and I won't worry about it. Mm -hmm. You're in. You're in. You know? Oops. Uh, yeah, you fell in. You, know, really you gave yourself a try. <laughs> yeah. For my doctorate work, there were so wow. many applicants and there was a very small mm -hmm. cohort that was accepted. Mm -hmm. Wow. And so, you know, I had to, I had to recognize that that was part of that destiny for me. Wow, yeah. this has been an amazing conversation. Yeah. The time has gone by so fast. It's already six o'clock. <laughs> already. We're just, just having a good go we're just having a good time. It's, it's going so fast. Yeah. Listen, I want to thank you both for coming on. This has been a it was great. fruitful uh -huh. conversation. Lots and so guys. thank you so much. Thank yeah, you so you. much for all you do for the mm -hmm. community, for in your workplace, with your churches and everything mm -hmm. that you're doing with your uh, YouTube what is it real quick? You're a YouTube. I do a weekly Sunday school lesson at the glance, at a glance. Sunday school lesson at a glance on YouTube weekly. Weekly. So if you That's go to right. YouTube and, and look up Sunday school lesson at a glance, you'll see Dr. Mary McConnell sure talking will. about Sunday school lesson at a glance. Beautiful, That's beautiful. Right. Thank you so much. Awesome. Dr. Tamara Callahan, mm -hmm. who is the First Lady of Second Baptist Church in Kansas City, Missouri on yes. 39th Street. That's right. Yes, mm -hmm. thank you so much for coming on. I would love to have you all back. Sure. Thank you, Kansas City and the global community for tuning in to KUAW. Jessica Lynn Speaks Life will be back on the third Sunday of the month. Happy Women's History Month Join and be blessed. Yeah. Join us for the luncheon. Join us for the luncheon, March okay. the 19th. Yes, all right. be blessed. Thank you. Okay. <laughs>